it's your turn to speak, you're going to raise your hand. Remember, you can ask another student a question if you don't understand something that they said. And so we're just going to have our, our, our regular number talk, and we're going to start now. So today, I'd like to collect some information and know what you know about this. When you have something that you know about that, let me know. What do you know about that? Aditya? Um, it's kind of like a fraction. What do you mean by it's kind of like a fraction? Do you want to? It is a fraction. Okay. Is there someone who would like to build on Aditya's thinking? He, he thinks that this is called a fraction. Um, Avi? It is called a fraction because when you do fraction, there's a line between the whole number and the part number. So you think this, so you're telling me you think this is the whole and this is the part? No, the bottom is the whole and the top is the part and there's always a line dividing it. So it means you're dividing the whole the whole. You're dividing the whole? The whole number. So there's, you think you know something about dividing a whole number. The top is what, is, is what you're dividing it by. By one? Yeah, so the bottom is a whole and the top is one. The one, you're dividing two by one. You're dividing two by one. Okay, so let's hold that. So what else can we build on? Can somebody comment on Avi's thinking or give me a little bit more information about one half? Uh, Nishank. The bottom one is called the denominator. Hmm. So I'm going to write one half again. So this one's called the denominator. And I don't the top one. Okay. So we don't have any idea what this is called, but... This, this idea that this is the two is a denominator. Abai, what can you add? The two is the whole, and the one is the part. So there's two ones, and two plus, one plus one equals two, and it shows that one is shaded, and the whole, first two is two, um, and then one got shaded, and then one. Else. So there's two objects. And one, is and one is shaded. How is that like what Avi told us up here? Can anybody connect what Avi just told us to what Avi was trying to tell us up here? This idea that one plus one is two and that one half one would be shaded. Can somebody connect that thinking to this one? Divya, what do you think? So I think we just could draw one circle and put it like in one line up and down and then just um, take away one part of it and then there's one more left. Where should I draw the line? Should I draw it here? here? Like in a half. Can you come show me what, what you mean? Can you draw, come cut it in half for me? So you think this is one half? So then you take the one half away, so there's one more left, half left over here. Okay. So can somebody build on this thinking? So she now has this idea that she thinks that if you take this piece away, so Divya, would it look like this? Yeah, so then there's one part left like that. Okay. Arnold, you're busting. Um, so like, it's divided by one, like, so there's like a half, like a whole circle and a half to be shaded, and that's like one. And that one. So it's the one divided by two? No, two divided by one. Like the two is the whole, and the whole is the part, and one is the part of the, like the whole. Okay, so this is the whole, the two are the holes. Now, like, it's a little circle, and you can divide it into half, and one half is the shaded, and the other is not the whole. 
I'm going to put another picture up on the board. So if I have these four cookies, and um, I would like to show one half of those cookies. Sampritha, can you come draw a line? What, would, what it would look like to, to cut those, to divide it into halves? What do you think you're going to do? If you're going to divide those in half, if you're going to make this half, what, what would it look like when you're done? Okay. Is there someone who would like to build on her thinking that if I'm going to divide these in half, so she took each one, and what did she do? What did she do to each one? Cozen. She sliced it in half. She sliced. So what does it mean to slice in half? Slice in half? So we have this idea that slice. What does that mean to slice in half? Arushi, what do you think? Pardon me? To, to break into a half? What do you mean by break into a half? So you cut it into a half. Okay. Cozen, you want to build on that? Cut it to equal. Oh, does it have to be equal? No. You could cut it into three parts. Any kind. I could cut it into any 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 way I wanted to? Okay, so there's this idea that there has to be equal parts. If I cut something in half or slice it in half, if I cut it in half, to be one half, do both sides have to be the same? No, because when you have five, like five things, you have to divide it, but then there will be like two cookies. So, so, and you have three people, two people will get the two people get two cookies, but there will be one left. So one of them, so so it's not so, and only one person gets one, so he doesn't so he doesn't have to be equal. Hmm. So there's a remainder. There's a remainder. So you, what did you divide it into? Four. One is four, but the other one is left over because it doesn't have to be equal. Aditya, I want you to build on Avi's. Can you explain to me what Avi's trying to tell us? Tell, tell us what, you, what you're thinking about this. The, the, the to say that I think um, five divided by two or two divided by five. So you're trying to decide if it's five divided by two or if it's two divided by five? Yeah. So that's our question? I think it's five divided by two because if it's two divided by five, it's not possible. Because two is a little and five, you have to divide it into five groups, okay. which is not possible. So it will be five divided by two. So we think that would be like because two times two is four, but there's uh, one left, so it's um, two remainder one. So two remainder one. And what could you? What could we do with that one left over? So let's say you're, you're having fun with your friends and you've got five cookies. It's you and your buddy. You're out on the playground. What can I? You, everybody, we both get to have two cookies. Is there anything I could do with that last cookie? What What could I do with that leftover cookie? Jefferson. Like that? Oh, you could cut it in half. So we're back to this idea of. A half. So if I share a half with my friend and I get to keep a half, what happened to my cookies? What did, what, where'd they go? Where'd they go? Divya. Now they're all gone because now it's fair. So now everybody gets um, three cookies because um, one person gets two cookies and then there's one left over. So you slice it in half and gave one to 
So everybody gets two and a half cookies? Hmm. Okay. So we know that this bottom part, we think, is called a denominator. Does anybody know what this top number might be called? Do we have any idea about that? Cozen? It's about how much you shade. It's about how much you shade? Can you, can you say something more about that, that this is how much you shade? Can you show me the picture of that? Can you show me that, that part that we shaded? Can you come up and point to me what we shaded so we know what we shaded? Can you show me in, in the... Can, so it, this side? Yeah. So I should shade that side to make it one half? Yeah. Okay. So this is how much you shade. All right, great. Thank you. You can go back. Um, Avi? When you say that you're not in the store cookies, you take away two of the cookies. So when you divide, there's something you know about dividing and you take it away? So if, it's like it, if you could divide it evenly, you, you take it, the one number away to make it even. So if there's like four cookies, I take away two because it's even and the, because the other person is two and they both equal and two plus two equals four. Okay, and then did you agree with what Nishank did about this? What do you think about what Nishant did with this leftover cookie? Yeah, he really did. Okay. So in a few weeks, we're going to move into learning a lot more about one half and other fractions. And this is going to help us to know where to start. So let's, we'll, let's, we'll kind of keep these ideas in mind of what we know and then what we can add to our chart. And we'll keep our poster. And as we move on, we will then add more information or change information if we learn that something is not correct. Aditi, do you have one last thought? In the um, half, it's like, it's like a question, like a problem. Like, you're, like you have two and you're just taking one away. It's kind of like a subtraction problem. Like two minus one. Two minus one? Similar to that. All right, so let's put this, let's put down here, and, and we'll, should we put that with a question mark there? that we think it might be related to subtraction some way? It looks like we think it might be related to division somehow. It's subtraction. Okay, and, and this idea that we think it might be something? I think it's subtraction because um, you're taking one away from the top number, that's how many you take away from the So you're taking away one of the two things that you have? Yes, yeah, so that's how I think it's trying. So you're taking away them. Okay. If you want to find out how, if you want to know how to find a divided, you have to get the whole numbers and subtract it to know what, how to, how to divide it. Okay. Because you can divide one, divide by two. All right. So we're going to take this poster, just like we did when we started with our polygons. We're going to come back and add information, correct information, and see what we can add to what we know about fractions.